It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. Hey, question for you. Is there anything in your life much more annoying than when you have to upgrade the operating system on your computer? Windows users will always complain about those updates that you didn't ask for, but automatically take over your computer for hours the moment you absolutely need to use it. Mac users don't have that problem. We can update when we want to update, and if we don't, all that happens is that you get a red one badge on the App Store icon, and you get occasional reminders to update. And when there's a big update, like to a new version of the OS, it's totally up to you. Which brings me to Mojave, the latest version of the Mac OS, and I saw positive reviews all around, so when I got back home from Orlando, I went ahead and downloaded Mojave and installed it, and to my horror, it did not work. It didn't brick my computer, but it rendered it useless. It got to a sign-on screen, but it took me about 15 minutes to sign on, interrupted at regular intervals by the dreaded beach ball, and then it got to asking me to sign into iCloud. But that was another 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and that was it. I didn't stick around for more. I rebooted, and it did the same thing, so I ended up spending much of Saturday reinstalling the entire operating system and all of my files from a backup, which is what I want all of you to do. Not reinstall, but backup. And not just your off-site Carbonite backup or your Dropbox or thumb drive backup of your document files. Backup everything onto an external drive. On Max, it's Time Machine, and I'm sure you can do a disk image of some kind on Windows. Back up the whole thing, and when you run into a disaster, or even if you just want to transfer your stuff to a new machine, it's easy. Yes, it took about five hours for me to restore High Sierra to my Mac, but at least I could do it, and it was easy. Press Command-R while rebooting, follow the menu, pick a backup to restore, and wait. That's how I rescued myself from Mojave. And if you have a Mac and are thinking about the upgrade, it won't hurt to wait until the problem, which apparently affects some but not all Macs, is ironed out. And if you have Windows, no good luck with that. No upgrade necessary to get tomorrow's podcast. Just come back here at about noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Until then, that's enough.